the most important two questions. I'll give them to you, but I must warn you, first of all, it's going to sound way too simple for most people. And yet, a lot of people just never achieve the success that they that could and should be theirs because they've never came up with good answers to these two questions. And in this short video, I'll prove that to you. So the first question is, what exactly do you... Oh, by the way, this all came from my book, Stay Home and Sell. This is on page 14 of my book. Uh, but the question is, uh, what exactly do you want? And number two is, what price are you willing to pay to get it? So a lot of ambitious people, what they have what's called open-ended ambition. They just want it all. And I was like that for so many years. Um, very, very, very ambitious. Uh, I wanted it all, but you can't have it all. So... What exactly do you want? I think the word exactly is right there. It's all about focus. And uh, the more focused you can be, the better. It's uh, clarity equals power. So now some, some people think I'm talking about goals here. And maybe in a loose way I am. But I think it's more the sense of direction. Where are you headed? What is most important to you and why? You need to keep asking yourself that question over and over and over again. And the more you ask yourself that question, then the, the, um, the more clear you are on that, the more power you're going to have. And, and that power then comes into play on the second question. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to do to get it? Because the, more, the bigger the goal that you have or the sense of direction that you have, the more clear you are about why that's so important to you, the bigger the price you're going to pay. Now, what is paying the price? Paying the price is working very, very, very hard sometimes when the rest of the people around you might not be working at all. You know, it means you working harder than they're working a lot of times. It means you uh, outperforming them. It means... Um, uh, it's hard work, it's dedication, it's commitment, it's being able to do the things that they are either unwilling or unable to do. Um, you know, it's continuing to press forward when things get really, really, really bad, going through all of the fear, the, un, the, the, the fear, uncertainty, the periods of doubt, the, the confusion and frustration that comes with success sometimes. Um, you know, those are the things that... Uh, you know, anybody can do this when it's smooth and easy. It takes no special skills or ability to do any of this. When it's all coming together, when it's all easy, when it's all smooth, it's the times when it's very, very, very difficult. The, the times when most everybody else gives up and you don't, that's paying the price. So, again, the better answer you have for the first question which is what exactly do you want? The the more you're going to be able to, the more willing and able you're going to be to pay the price. You know, a lot of people. I've been in awe of some of these uh, what I call superstars over the years. People that just have a, just like a tremendous capacity for hard work, and where they're unshakable, where all these things, uh, they overcome all these obstacles and adversities. And I've gotten to know a few of these people, and I found that they do a really good job of answering those two questions, really. They know exactly what they want, and they're willing to go through hell and high water to get it, so to say. They're willing to pay whatever the price. Um, and because they want it bad enough, they're willing to do it. And... So it all sounds like common sense, I know that, but, but um, you know, early on for my own life, somewhere along the line, I decided I wanted to become the very, 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 very best that I could possibly be when it came to all aspects of sales and marketing. It was a deep commitment on my part. I wanted to be, I wanted to be the, the best I could be. Well, that just meant pushing myself, that meant going through a lot of difficulties, uh, that meant a lot of struggles, a lot of adversity, a lot of pain that I had to go through uh, to get there. And um, 
you know, that's no fun. People, people don't, they, they all want the shortcuts. They all want the great, re and we do have shortcuts to give. We do. We do teach shortcuts, and a lot of those shortcuts are just not making the same mistakes that we've made. Those of us who have achieved a certain level of success, you know, um, and uh, in our ability to help other people achieve those same levels, we can save them a lot of time and work. But still, there are going to be times you have to go through that where other people would just quit. And the more you are clear about the answers to these two questions, the less likely you are to quit, the more you'll persevere. Which persevering doesn't mean just hanging in there. If you really study the word persevere, it means you're willing to go through hell, so to say. You're willing to, you're willing to go through a lot of pain and adversity and struggle, but you do it with a cheerful attitude. That's perseverance. Where you've got a really great attitude about it. So, Thanks for watching this. Hope you benefited from it. And bye for now.